We'll see. Time will tell with that. And last but not least, folks, the Spun Today website has been revamped. So you guys should definitely check it out. My old website was... I use Squarespace to uh, build my own website, right? I love Squarespace. It's like out of the box, dope and easy to use. And you guys can uh, actually like build a website completely for free, like without um, like being charged and having to like give your credit card info and all that jazz and stuff like that. So you can see exactly how your website's going to look, not like a version of and like pay for it. And then it'll look something like this, but you could like literally build a website and then choose to like buy it or not. And it's a very reasonable pricing. There's like promo codes out there. So you get discounts, you get a, like a free domain name and uh, it's like less than a hundred bucks, like for the entire year. If you know about websites, you know, you can like custom, you know, customize shit like all you want, like with your own HTML codes and stuff like that. Or there's like tons of templates to like choose from and um, that come like ready out the box and you can like tweak certain things um, on those templates as well to like make them more to your liking, which is what I do because uh, I don't know like coding and HTML and like shit like that. But for like the tweaking and stuff like that, it's like very user friendly. It's like, you know, you click on a box that you want to change the color of and pick the color that you want to change it to. And, um, you know, you can insert a block of uh video that you want to insert and then the copy and paste the the link to youtube thing in, in a designated box and then uh it creates a nice looking like uh video icon thing for you and you'll see it. you uh check it out if you want to like build a website definitely check out squarespace and yeah, i recommend it uh but for other things like I said, you kind of sort of like learn as you go too. like, for example, like with my like affiliate links and stuff like that, I kind of have to figure out like where to insert the HTML codes and like grab the HTML codes from uh, the banner building um, affiliate link sites and knowing like where to put them in within my site so they can like pop up on every page or just on certain pages and um, change the sizing and and a lot of that is like learn as you go. And, but, you know, I'm no like computer science wizard or anything like that. So uh, if I could figure that type of shit out, you can too. But again, that's that's like if you want to go like a level deeper, you can literally just take the out the box uh, stuff, slap your name on it and boom, you got a website. Uh, but I decided to to uh, switch it up a bit because my old website I had. I guess uh, almost four years already and I didn't change much on it in those four years like I would you know update it obviously with like new content all the time but in terms of uh, aesthetically and like visually how it looked uh, it wasn't changing uh, much or if anything on it and I was I don't know like getting bored with it it, it also didn't seem after a while, uh, looking at it objectively, like a site where somebody lands on it and like they want to look around. Whereas I think, I think, and it, it could just be because it's like new to me. Um, but I think I achieved that with the layout of the new website. Um, when you get to it, right on the landing page, you know what it's about, um, which you didn't necessarily get from my old site. Cause I just had like a, a dope uh, picture that I took like as the background and you kind of sort of had to like click on the different like, navigation buttons to figure out like, you know, what is this site? Um, but this one, it kind of, it's kind of like in your face in a nice aesthetically pleasing way. And uh, right on the landing page, you have a free writing option to go check out some free writing. You have the podcast option uh, to go check out the podcast and you have a short stories option to go check out short stories then you have the smaller navigation buttons where um you have all of those things but you also have like uh, photography and books and uh, subscribe if you want to subscribe to the midday monday boost letter which you definitely all should 
Um, you have my ode to podcast section and my questionnaire, which is always open to any writers or creatives to check out and fill out. And pretty much what it is, is just like five open-ended questions so that you can uh, talk about your craft. And then I read your answers here on the Sponsor Day podcast in a future episode. So definitely check it out. Uh, then you have my affiliate links and my other stuff tab. You have all my social media links up at the top. And I really like the way, like when you scroll down on the site, you have like in the background my, um, I guess what you would call, it sounds pretentious as fuck, but like you're on brand. Like I made the site on brand, quote unquote, meaning that my YouTube is matching my website, is matching my Twitter, etc. Whereas before, like there wasn't like much like continuity between the, th- the three and that's not a good thing. Now, if you go on my YouTube page, the uh, YouTube banner that I that I created, I have that as kind of like this background um, image to my website. Uh, so you have the consistency there, and it's also the same on my Twitter. So if somebody's on any of the platforms, they know that it's my platform. They see like that consistency. And when I created it for um, my YouTube banner, I was actually like pretty proud of it. I think I told you guys about that when I did that some time ago. Then you scroll down further and you see my three most recent tweets for my Twitter. And then it gives you like the option to like follow me on there. And it gives you my eight most recent posts on Instagram. And then we at the bottom an Amazon banner that you can click on. It's uh, an affiliate link. Uh, you can click on if you want to go shop on Amazon and it helps support the podcast without costing you anything extra if you choose to do that. And um, yeah, I think just aesthetically, I just think it looks better and will uh, hopefully keep you more engaged when you actually go on the site. Uh, I also did like some more like pragmatic things to the site where if you go into like each section, each section is, is set up to be able to take more content. Um, like the books section, uh, the Ode to Podcast section, the free writing, the podcast, it's all more in block form, in blog form rather, as opposed to like separate pages, which just from a practical standpoint allows you to add more uh, content within the same navigation without having to like upgrade to a more expensive site or more expensive uh, plan within Squarespace called like a business plan. And uh, I'm just happy with how it came out. So definitely check it out. It is of course spuntoday.com. All my short stories that I thought were worth sharing are on here. Um, the podcast, uh, section is more built out in terms of like the episode notes, like the, if there's ever like any, uh, links that I mention, or for example, like everything I spoke about today, like bumping mics and, um, David Tell and Jeff Frost and Bird Box, etc. uh, in there, you'll find like direct links to either the bumping mics uh, trailer on Netflix on Netflix site or David Tell and Jeff Ross's Twitter uh, the Bird Box trailer UFC uh, 232 uh, links uh, links to my website uh, the outro music that you listen to uh, in this and all episodes uh, I'll always link to the YouTube uh, music video version or just uh, some YouTube version of the song if they don't have an actual music video this week's, for example, uh, you guys should check it out. Check out the actual music video uh, for Dollhouse by Melanie Martinez. Um, it's a pretty dope, creative music video. So, yeah, you have that. You have all my free writing posts. Check out the photography section if you're into photography and you want to see the type of photography feed that I'm into, which is more like landscape. My book which I offer for you guys, my listeners, for free at uh, under the books uh, column there, or link rather. Uh, just drop in your email address. 
and you will get a free copy in the format of your choice of Make Way For You, which is a collection of tips for getting out of your own way. If you want to subscribe to the Midday Monday Boost Letter, just click on the subscribe button, the questionnaire I mentioned to you guys before. The affiliate links are just a bunch of different ways you can help support the Sponsor Day podcast, all of which I'll get into in the outro later. And yeah, uh, check it out. I'm proud of the website. And I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy it for at least the uh, next four years or so when I get sick of it again and decide to switch it all up. <laughs>